Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, the name is Janae. If you like the content and vibes, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so some very exciting news. The coffee table just got delivered. So I'm about to turn it around and show y'all, but I gotta tell y'all, I have not been having the best of luck with my deliveries. Like what in the hell? So this is, let me get the exact name, the Cap Ivory Cement Coffee Table from CB2 but because it's cement, it stains very easily. Why did the delivery people deliver my coffee table with black gloves? They got black stuff all over the table. There's a black scratch in it, so I called CB2. They refunded me the $79 for the delivery charge, and they're basically going to exchange this one. But it's on back quarter until October, so she was like, you can use this one until the other one comes in stock. But anyways, let me turn it around and let y'all see. Do y'all like it? My kids said it's very tiny, but of course it's very tiny. It's not supposed to be big. But I didn't want it to take up too much space. So I'm hoping once I decorate it, it won't be too bad. You know, I don't know. I don't feel like a coffee table should be huge. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, but I'm about to start decorating this because I've been waiting forever to put stuff on the table. So I'll show y'all whenever I get done. So this is what I came up with so far. Obviously, I just threw the stuff on there really quickly as y'all can see in the video. But I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit. I probably will bring the stuff closer. Maybe I need to go get me some like inspo on how to like arrange it. I don't want it to be like too much, but not like too little. Anyways, um, yeah, let me play around with it for a little bit and then we'll we'll come back. We'll come back. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I tried something else. So I basically took off, what do you call it? That vase over there and put this one. So I think I like this, but it's looking a little spacey. It's looking a little spacey. I don't want it to be like super crowded, but maybe I just need to kind of like rearrange it a little bit. Okay y'all, so this is what it looks like over here. Hold on, let me turn this light on. There we go. This is what it looks like over here. So when I showed y'all in the last vlog, I only had this wine glass this tray and then this little figurine thing. So what I did was basically just move the figurine thing over here, added this little tray thing with the garland stuff that I was gonna use on the coffee table. And then this tray, we decided to remove all of the alcohol from the tray and then put like some wine glasses just so it looks a little bit more like elegant. And you know, all the different wine, like alcohols and stuff, it was just throwing the whole vibe off. So this is what it's looking like. I don't think this is gonna be the permanent state, but this is what it's gonna look like on today, on this Saturday. Hello lads, we are in the guest bedroom. So, I ain't been talking about this guest bedroom in a very long time. It is still on the list to make over, to revamp all of the good things. But I'm about to show y'all what it looks like current state so that we can start preparing for its makeover. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Let me know in the comment section what you think we can do. Are my lips chapped? Oh my God. Oh my God. We have this very dark navy blue bed, okay? And it's throwing off all my vibes. Definitely gonna keep these nightstands, but it's the it's the bed that's it's throwing me off. It's not giving me something. If we look over here, I still have this navy blue carpet and that navy pillow on those two pillows and the couch. We're gonna keep the couch, but I wanna get rid of the navy. I wanna get rid of those two pillows over there. Oh, oh my gosh. But anyways, like I like the flow of it because like it's very like peaceful and serene in here, but I just feel like we can do better, right? We can do better. We can do better. Hey y'all, so we um about to hang up the gallery wall. So the hubs is over here. Why are you walking away from the camera, son? I'm sorry. Anyway, so whatever. So he is dang near breaking the picture frames. <clears throat> Did any of y'all ever wonder? Oh wait, the other ones don't have people in it. You heard me? The other ones don't have people in it. Yeah. Do y'all ever wonder why there are certain people in the picture frames? Like zero diversity. <laughs> anyways. It's I think it's awkward anyways that you have people in picture frames, but I guess that's the only way that you can tell them and get people. Y'all hear my mom screaming. 
Anyway, so we're about to hang these up. My thought was to go ahead and hang the picture frames up so I can just see what it looks like before we print out all the pictures that we want to go in there. He don't think we should do that. But I'm like, hang the picture frames before we get the pictures. Whatever, so I have to do it anyways, but I'm gonna check back in with y'all whenever we have the pictures up. Okay, y'all, so literally it's been about an hour. Wait, hold on. Since, <laughs> <laughs> since he started hanging these pictures, we still got three more to go, so we just gonna, we gonna hang this last one and we gonna call it for the night. Hey, y'all, so guess what we finna go in? I got five seconds. <laughs> Bitch, you guessed it. We finna go in home good. So the other night I had really bad insomnia, so I used my time wisely. And I made like a little list of the things I needed to get for the house. So stuff for the powder room, for the living room, just all the areas of the house, y'all. Even stuff I don't really need. But um, yeah, so it's like early during the day on Friday. I'm really hoping that it's not busy, that the stuff ain't picked over because I really hate going to home goods over the weekend. So hopefully I find some stuff. Fingers crossed. If we do find some stuff, we'll do a little mini home goods haul when we get back to the house. So I'm finna go, y'all. I'll check in with y'all when we get back home. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Bye. Okay, y'all, I'm home. I found stuff, so me and Maddie Riley are about to show y'all what we got. All right, so I'm gonna start with like glassware. So it was not on my list, but I got it anyway. So I thought these were so cute for like orange juice, water, tequila, whatever you wanna put in here. These were $1.99 each. They actually had the taller ones, but I ain't need all those because I actually have too many glasses, y'all. So got those four dollars, I mean, two dollars each. Then I got these. Oh my gosh! So I love iced and hot coffee. So let me show you what these look like. I think these are yeah nine ninety nine. Aren't these cute, y'all? It's like children. Please come hither. So cute, love that. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. And I don't know about y'all, but I wash all my stuff before I put it up, because it's front of ours. Madison's gonna show y'all what we got next. Wine glasses. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all pay attention to red wine versus white wine. I don't care as long as it holds my wine. But, stronger. These are some white wine glasses. Wine glasses for us. I think these were $19.99 for a set of six. So I thought these were cute. So I'm gonna put them up there. Y'all seen in the last, or is it this one? I think it's this vlog that y'all are gonna see the little arrangement that I did over there on top of the um, butler's pantry. So these are really cute. Thicker than the red wine glasses that I have. Put these back in, huh? I'm gonna wash those today so we can indulge. And then I wanna redo our powder room. So I got this cute little plant. This was only $7.99. I thought I got this um, cute little, is this what y'all call succulents? I don't know. But I got this cute little plant because I plan on getting like a shelf or a storage unit to go in the powder room just to spruce it up because right now it is very much bland. And then um, we got some more candles. Y'all know I'm not gonna make a, ooh. Y'all know I'm not gonna make the home goods burn without getting candles, but I didn't need any more, but I seen these. These were $14.99, girl, but it's spicy wood. It's a very like masculine smell, but I think it's gonna be really nice for the fall. And then I got this one. My mom was like, bring me a candle back. So she had me over there smelling 50 living candles, figure out which one she would like. This one is called Sandalwood Citrus. I really like it. Um, but I'm more so like the color. It matches my Capricorn shirt. So I thought this would be cute for her. And then it's a cute little sunflower top to go along with it. I got two of those spicy wood candles. So y'all know between the kitchen, the living room, my room, we'll be able to use these. Then I got this cute little 
figurine type thing. I have no clue where I'm gonna put this, but it's black they and it'll go on top red. of like, let me show y'all real quick. So I got another book cause I told y'all I needed one in my room to um, layer up under the other one. This one just says down to earth. It's a home related book. But even if you styled it like this, see how that looks on top of there? It's cute. So this was $12.99, this book was $19.99. And then, y'all, I'm obsessed with getting little trinkets and stuff from Home Goods because I told y'all we wanted to get built-in cabinets or just buy our own consoles to go over there. Um, but I thought these right here, like little trinkets and stuff, when y'all see these, it's like treasure hunting in Home Goods. When y'all see little stuff like this, get it because you can style it like on top of a book, on top of a shelf, somewhere. But I thought this was cute and it's like a little storage thing if you wanna throw something down in there. But it's the details for me. And this was only $14.99, so had to get it. Um, also in the powder room, I thought it would be cute. They get this clear little black frame to like tie in the blacks and stuff in there too. But I'm gonna go um, print something off. Just like a little cute note or something um, that is fitting for a bathroom. So that's why I got this and it has like this little stand on it. So cute, right? These right here are random. Um, I seen these over in the kitchen section. But basically, so you cooking and stuff, you need something to put your hot pots on. That's what these are. These are $4.99 each and they match. Le decor. What else? What else? All right. So the vase that I showed y'all earlier in this vlog, <clears throat> it's on the coffee table. I got some plants arrangement, flower arrangements to go in there. So they started putting out their fall decor, but I thought this was, you know, a good way to bring some color into my living room without actually bringing color into my living room. So I'm just gonna add the pop of colors there. So it's got like a cute little arrangement, arrange assortment of stuff. So let's show them the pillows next. Pillows? Mm -hmm. I got two of these pillows to go on the main couch. So it has a little bit of color. So you got your grays, cause y'all know our house is gray and white. And then we got some of the oranges to kind of bring out the cognac and the other chair over there. Um, and then you got your brown tones and stuff. So we're gonna go put these on the pillow after we finish the haul and see if it looks right. But I figure if I put these in the vase in there, y'all see how they kind of like ties out? So we'll see. Um, these were $29.99, but I will say I'm not a fan of the quality. Cause they're very like, I, I can feel these are gonna get flat easily. But I wonder can I buy inserts to go inside of these. So we'll see, I got two of these. And then y'all know I told, showed y'all in the last vlog or the vlog before that. Um, I wanted to get a third picture frame to go upstairs. I have no clue if this is the exact one, but I think I think it'll do. So got another frame, this is $12.99. Okay, and then y'all know I'm trying to start with the storage and organization and stuff. So I got this little container just to put our spoons and stuff in because right now they're just literally sitting in the drawer. This was $9.99. Um, we got this, a little egg carton thing, because I want the inside of my refrigerator to be aesthetically pleasing. Bean, we recording over here, baby. We recording. Nah, just kidding. And then I got these three containers. So y'all know I showed y'all way back when we first moved in the house, I had bought some containers to put fruit and stuff in in our refrigerator with my husband, genius, the genius that he is. Decided to wash these, thank you boo, but he put them in the dishwasher. They're plastic, sir. If you're watching this, plastic cannot go in the dishwasher, okay? So I had to repurchase these, and these were $4.99 each, and I got a set of three. I wanna be able to put our fruit in here because I'm discovering that apples don't like to touch cucumbers, or cucumbers don't like lemons to touch them. I don't know, my fruit is going bad, so. Storage organization, container things there. I think that's all the stuff that we bought from home goods, y'all. So I'm about to clean the stuff, find a home, and also show y'all what it looks like after I put the flower arrangements together and the pillows and stuff on the couch. So thank you to my lovely assistant, Madison, for assisting me today. She loves doing hauls, y'all, so. Tell them, boy. Peace. Okay, y'all, so there's a few things in here that I need to show y'all. So first off, the flower arrangement things that I showed y'all, I added it to the vase. I actually think I really like this, but 
My only thing is it feels like these are like fall colors, but my mama said they weren't, so. But I do think it kind of brings color into the living room because everything was just so, I guess you could say like muted. But I moved the vase to this side of the table because we already have like some color over here. So you can see like a little bit of the eucalyptus and I don't know what the other stuff is, but it kind of brings out the colors from the couch. So I had like a whole bunch left over, so I just threw it into this vase right here. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but that's over there waiting to be used. And then the pillow. So if you look from this view, I do like these um, pillows that I got from CB2. I showed y'all a few videos back. I do like it in those chairs, but if we turn this way, we got a couple of options. So I can do, here's the two pillows I just showed y'all. I can do, this cream pillow that came with the couch and then the decorative pillow in front of it or the decorative pillow, remove the cream pillow, do the decorative pillow and then this other texture pillow. I think I like, ignore this in my ashy hand. I think I like this in this setup better. So let me just, let me, let me, let me arrange it all and then y'all can see. Okay, here's what it looks like from this angle. So I added the two CB pillows over, CB2 pillows over there I like the way it looks, especially with this flower, and then kind of showing y'all these two chairs, it looks good. So then we turn to this angle, and then we have those two pillows over there. Honestly, I like the way everything is tying in, so you have like a hint of these, this color over there, and then the flower arrangement, and then kind of over there, and then those are cream too. So I'm gonna show y'all another angle. So this is what it looks like. I think I like it. I honestly think I like it. And then once we just get our consoles or our built-in cabinets and bookshelves over there, I feel like it's gonna look really good, especially once we start decorating over here. I don't know, y'all let me know what y'all think. Okay, so I just showed y'all this in the hall. So this is what I was thinking about on the shelf. Print out a cute little note or something that actually goes into a bathroom and then have this like right there next to it on the shelf. And then like a little storage thing somewhere on the shelf that holds like the tissue. I don't know, I thought that would be cute. So now I'm about to go upstairs and see if this picture frame actually matches the ones that we already have in the room. Stay tuned. Okay y'all, so here is the other option. I think this is what I'm gonna actually go with because I do like that when you first come in here, you get hit with that color and then the color from the flowers and then the, I love it. This this is what we're going with, period, y'all. So even over here on these, you already got like the pillows that came with the chairs. We golden. We golden. I love it. And then we finally finished the gallery wall. I really like it, y'all. It's gonna come together really well when we actually are able to put the picture frames in here. So hopefully on the next vlog we'll have this complete for y'all. Let's head upstairs. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that I can show y'all. Um, we can see if this picture frame actually matches the other pictures that I have up. So See y'all in like 0.5 seconds, sis. Bam! Y'all see that honey God be looking out. So if you can see, this picture frame is the exact same as this picture frame, period. So I thought they were gonna be different because these two picture frames up here actually came with some female in them with a child and then this one obviously doesn't. So I didn't think it was gonna be the same, but it it is. So now I just need to go and print out a picture so I can put it in there and pop that. Uh, they're on the wall, honey, period. But y'all probably won't see what that looks like until the next video, because I ain't finna do that today, and this video is going up on Saturday or Sunday. And then, um, while I have y'all up here, I'm gonna show y'all everything. I know y'all seeing a little mess over there, but these um, chairs I showed y'all in the last video, and I was like, y'all pray for me, because I don't really know if I want these no more. Well, I think I'm sold, I don't want them. I'm going to do two swivel chairs to go up here. So I'll probably order those from Pottery Barn. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna go in there and see. But I'm about to take this chair downstairs and put it on our deck to see if I like the vibe of this because y'all know that our color scheme down there, you have the cognacs, you have the black. So I feel like seeing this through the wall of windows out on that deck will hit. So let's take these downstairs and see what they look like. All right, so we're out on the balcony. Um, I do think these chairs will work. So hear me out. We are planning on getting two benches that I'm waiting to come back in stock on target.com. They have a cream seats in the um, 
frame of them is like a wooden color, right? So I think these will tie in nice. Y'all know that we have these two blue chairs on our back balcony. So what I wanna do is find some weatherproof black paint, if they even exist. But we're gonna paint these black so that we can also use these out here. So my thoughts out here, we're going to probably do a mountain ash stain, right? And then do a bench here, maybe a bench there, two seats here and maybe two seats over there. So yeah, y'all, I think that's all of the updates that I have to show you for today's video. If you made it this far, I appreciate your support. I, I appreciate y'all's support either way. But make sure y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss the future updates. It's lit over here on the channel. But I will see y'all in the next video.